welcome back to another video so today's video is going to be my first kind of wintery design and it's going to be pink obviously this is number 198 and it's from the Umic soft summer collection and it's just a pale very pale pink and I'm going to put that on all of these nails yeah so this is my first kind of proper winter set with snowflakes <laughs> this color's beautiful it's such a pale pale pink I really really like it so I'm just going to give them a coat of that and that's going to get cured for 30 seconds Right, I'm going to give them a quick matte top coat. I'm using Umic matte top coat because I'm going to be painting on them. You all know I like to paint on a matte surface. So giving these a quick matte top coat and that's going to get cured for 30 seconds as well. Right, so for this first nail, I'm using a Bone Pretty colour. This is from the Bone Pretty Pro collection that they do. It's number 29 and it's just a deep deep kind of yeah it's just a deep pink isn't it and I'm putting some of this Umic number 193 this is a grey stick a little bit of that on my palette as well and the third colour I'm using is a Madame Glam and it's a nice chocolatey brown this is called Taste Like Glam that's from their latest collection that they do I've got a 30% off code for Madame Glam guys it's always in my description box Right, so this first nail, I'm going to do like a checkered kind of nail. With your liner brush, make sure you completely soak it and do a couple of swipes through. Make sure your brush is properly saturated and just go for it. Just, just pull that brush right down that nail and get a lovely straight line. And then I'm going to do another line about a quarter of the way down, straight across horizontally. And you can flash cure these little bits as you go. So if you make a mistake, you don't have to wipe it all off. And I'm going to do one more line um, about a quarter of the way up from the bottom as well. And I'm just going to flash cure that for 10, 15 seconds. Right, now with this grey, I wanted a, a, a line just slightly thinner than the pink line that I just did so to get a slightly thinner line I'm not pressing the brush down as hard and I'm using more of the tip of the brush than the the most most of the brush like with the pink I had the brush completely flat on the nail because I wanted this gray line slightly thinner it turned out being just as thick actually but I tried to use more of the tip of the brush with lighter touch I wasn't pressing down as hard because I did want it thinner but anyway I'm just putting that grey underneath these lines that go across straight over the top of that pink and I'm going to cure that quick flash cure 10-15 seconds Right now with this Madame Glam Brown, I'm just doing tiny little notches like this um, going across the nail. It's so difficult to draw little lines going in one direction but keeping them in a straight line. It's quite difficult actually. Um, and I'm going to do another couple of lines going across the nail but I'll do them off camera because it's just exactly the same. I'm going to do two in the middle-ish and one more at the bottom. And then I'm going to do two going vertically. I'm going to do one down the left hand side. I've done that off camera because it's right on the edge. And then I'm going to do this one just slightly to the right. Not quite in the middle of the nail. Off to the right. And again, just little tiny notches going down the nail. They don't have to be perfect. But try and keep them in a straight line. <laughs> and then I'm going to give that nail a full cure then for 30 seconds. So 
So that's that nail done. I'm just giving it a nice generous layer of matte top coat because I want these nails to be matte. And that's that one finished. So we're going to go on to this second nail now. And on this second nail, I'm using Madame Glam's Perfect Y. Again, put that on my palette. And I'm going to do a big snowflake on this nail. I have sped this up quite a bit because it did take me ages. So a straight line straight down the middle. And then again, a line going horizontal across. And then I'm going to do another line in between that cross. So one going that way and then one going the other way. Just making a perfect kind of star. And then I'm going to flash cure that. So if I make a mistake, again, I don't need to wipe the whole design off. So now I'm swapping out that liner brush for a shorter brush. And I'm just doing... I put a little dot in between each of them lines. You see, I put a little dot in the middle. And that just helps me join this star up. And it keeps it kind of even. So you just do a little dot and then join it up. And you end up with a star like that in the middle. So again, give that a quick flash cure. And then I'm just going to do little flicks on on these lines that are left over. Little flicks like that. I'm going to do three on the top, three on the bottom. And the other lines that are a bit shorter, I just fit as many as I can on. Some of them I think I do one, some of them I think I do two. But just keep flash curing it as you go. So if you make a mistake, again, you don't need to wipe it all off. Right, now I'm going to use some of that Born Pretty Pink that I used on the first nail. That's the same colour and I'm just going to colour in the middle of this star. Um, yeah, and get that cured for 30 seconds as well. I was, I was going to leave it at that and then I thought, no, it needs a little bit of something else. <laughs> I thought the pink stood out a bit too much. So I'm just drawing little white kind of diamond shapes in the middle of those pink parts. And I'm going to cure them for 30 seconds as well. Now, what I should have done, I decided I wanted glitter on this white snowflake. What I should have done was poured the glitter into the wet gel paint. It would have been so much easier. So I'm using this ultraviolet from Glitter Planet. So what I ended up having to do was basically paint that whole snowflake again with clear top coat. So I'm just going over all the white bits with the clear Madame Glam top coat. And I'm just going to sprinkle the glitter into that wet top coat. So yeah, if you're putting glitter on your snowflakes like this, just pour the glitter into the wet gel paint before you cure it. It made it very difficult having to do it all again. Look at that glitter, guys. Oh, it's so pretty. So that's going to get cured for 30 seconds. Look at it, though. So much better with the glitter, isn't it? So much better. Beautiful. Right, so this is the next nail. This is the third nail. This is what would be the ring finger. I'm sorry I'm slightly off camera there. So I've just squared off the bottom part. I wish I would have done the full bottom half of this nail but anyway I've just, just squared it off like that and I'm pouring clear acrylic into those two lines and I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds I'm going to do a little bit of a sweater nail but yeah I wish I did the full bottom half instead of just this square corner but it looks really really pretty so I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds and then I'm just going to do your um, your standard kind of sweater pattern going down this nail they're kind of like a halfway between a Z and a letter S, aren't they? So just like that, I'm going to carry that on all the way down. And then I'm going to pour the clear acrylic into that as well and cure that for 30 seconds.
So what I'm doing now is I'm going to do a snowflake. It's going to be exactly the same as the big snowflake that I just did by doing the cross and then another cross and the little notches. I'm going to do just little flicky lines coming off each of them but I'm not going to be colouring the star in the middle of this one because it was so teeny weeny. But yeah, can you see, I just used the gel polish that's already on them lines and just do little flicks going up. I'm going to cure that and I'm going to do another one but I'm going to do kind of a half a snowflake just slightly to the left of that sweater design that I did. Exactly the same technique and style as what I've just done but it'll be a half a one. And this time I made it easier on myself by pouring the glitter straight into this wet gel paint, what I should have done on the big one. It made it so much quicker and easier. <laughs> Right guys, so for this last nail, I'm just going to put this little snowflake charm. This charm's stunning, it's from Charlie's Nail Art. I've got a 10% discount code for Charlie's as well. That's always in my description box. So I'm sticking it on the nail with a bit of rhinestone glue. This charm is curved, it sits really flat on the nail. And I thought, why is it not sitting flat? I had the curve going in the wrong direction. <laughs> so once I've twisted it, you'll see it sits really flat look. So that cures in the lamp for 30 seconds and that's them finished. I absolutely love these. I'm so glad I decided to put the glitter on as well. I think that just finishes them off beautifully. I wish I did them on my own nails, I really do. <laughs> anyway guys, that is it for today. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Hit your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Hopefully, I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care. Bye.